everybody, this is David with davidspassage.com and I'm here in, uh, was it Florissant, how do you pronounce it? Florissant Fossil uh, National Monument. And uh, just came up with a little little trick to make a little sling, improv sling out of some paracord and a water bottle. I didn't bring a camel back, I didn't bring a canteen or anything like that. I just got this water bottle. And when you're just going for little bitty hikes, um, it's not a whole lot of fun just to keep that in your pocket. Guy like me, you're a bigger guy, you put it in your pocket and your pants start to start to fall down. So what I did, what I meant to show you how to do is make a, make a little improv sling out of it with uh, just a water bottle and some paracord. So Okay, so first things first, gotta get your paracord. Now, for me, I'm a bigger guy, about 250 pounds, and, uh, and I snagged about six feet of this, I'm sorry, seven feet of this paracord off. Just cut it off my uh, supply I had. First thing I always like to do with my paracord is put an overhand knot in the end, uh, just so it stops fraying, just like that. And uh, I like to pull that to the end, and it just keeps the end from fraying. <laughs> we'll do that to the other side. Simple overhand knot. Just like that. Have to pull it tight so it doesn't slip. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one end of this and come around to the other end. Make a you know big a big loop there basically. I'm going to leave about oh I'm going to say about I think that's about 10 inches of line there to start here. Okay, so with my short end, and this is my long end, I'm going to take this piece and go over it. I'm just going to make an overhand knot like that. So this is that the longer piece. Okay, there's my overhand knot. And I'll cinch that down like that. So now what I basically have is a big loop. Now I could stop there, um, but I want this kind of sling to be adjustable. So I got this longer end here. What I'm going to do with it is I'm still going to leave about oh, about 10 inches or so. But then now I'm in my loop on this sliding end. You see that my nut slides there? Okay. The part that slides through this part here, I'm going to take the top part come around and make an make an overhand knot on it taking that long end there and putting it through okay tighten that down real good and so you can see what I have here is an adjustable loop so I can adjust the size of it now with what's left this part is going to go around my water bottle now this is just a Gatorade bottle this will probably work on any bottle that has a decent, a decent lip right here. And with that one end, what I'm going to do now is make a clove hitch around the end of the bottle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the bottle. When I bring this tag end up, I'm going to cross it over that side. This is a clove hitch. Okay, bring this around again. And I'm going to take this little bitty end and put it between that X. So it comes up through here, comes out, so it comes up through here, comes out in between here, okay? It's kinda hard doing this with a camera here, but you can kinda see, I made the X, the knot comes up through there. And I'm just gonna hold that knot and pull my standing in tie it taut, okay? There's a clove hitch. That'll come undone real easy when you want it undone. But now, what I can do is I have a water bottle sling. So now you see, got my water bottle here, my two nuts here, and I can adjust, and I can just put this over my uh, myself now. And I've got an adjustable sling to hold my water bottle on me so that I don't have to have it in my pocket all day. So. 
Just a little tip. Let me know if you try it out, how it works for you. We'll see you later.